Hey, what's going on guys? Root at NoShell.com here today, and we are looking at some more Python. Uh, today we're going to check out some variables. Variables are kind of like the crucial, the, the, most, the most important backbone of programming and computer science, because they act as placeholders, they are abstract, they represent a different data type. And uh, let me get started, let's show, you, let's show you guys what's up. So I'll get idle going, and we'll drag it over here so you guys can see it, and let's get started. So now, when you are working with the variable, when you're trying to initialize the variable is the terminology that I want to be using today, when you're initializing the variable, what you do is first, in a, in a different language other than Python, you would normally declare the variable. They call it declaring because you're just simply stating, I'm going to use this variable. You allocate or you make room for that variable in your computer's memory. And in like a language like uh, like C++ or something, or C, you would just type in uh, int and the name of the variable, like number. Now in Python, you don't have to do that. They have Python has what they call dynamic typesetting, because you can set a variable without having to have to specifically declare, okay, this is what the number, this is what the variable means. You know, obviously the, the variable has a specific data type, whether it's a string, whether it's an integer, whether it's a float, whether it's a boolean, that sort of thing, but it doesn't have to be, like, static. It's It can change, and you don't have to declare it that way, one way, all the time. So, But that's that's kind of all I wanted to get across to you in this, so it's what declaring is the terminology for just saying the variable name, like, uh, we'll just call it number. And uh, so when you have your variable and you've declared it, which you don't have to do in Python, so you don't have to worry about that, you can. what you do is you define it. Defining it is giving it a value or giving it something that it represents, or the actual value of that variable. You're going to hear the words value tossed around a lot because that corresponds with the variable. What, is the val what does the variable actually mean? What is its value? You know, so that makes sense. So number, if we have something called a number, maybe number can represent, let's say, four. There you go. Now its number is set, it's stored in memory, so if we type in number, we will get 4, because that's what it equals. That, that's what it represents now. We have declared and defined number to equal 4. So that's interesting, though. We can, we can set up, like, floats. Actually, we'll name it something else so it's not a, t it's not a keyword. We'll call it double equals 3.14. Actually, we'll do, like, 45.67. We've got double. If I can type it correctly, we got double. We can set pi to 3.14. And now we have, uh, now we got pi, 3.14. Awesome. We can print these things out if we need to. 3.14, and boom. Actually, whoops, I should have used the variable there. Let's, let's pay attention to what I'm doing here, people. <laughs> yep, printing out pi gets you that same thing as 3.14 because that's what it equals to. We've set it to be that. Now, if we work with that a little bit more, though, we can set maybe, uh, we can set a name. Let's say, let's use a string variable. Let's use John. Just use my name. Name is John. We can just use name is John. We print that out. Name. Now you can just get John. That's that's easy enough, right? This represents something else. Now you can have underscores, letters, and that sort of thing all in the variable, the name of the variable, but you can't have it start with a number. If we had like one int equals two, it freaks out. If we had int two, uh, int one equals two, it'll understand that, and we'll have int one. But anything with a number in front of it, it's it's not gonna it's not gonna accept that. The uh, yeah, the program Python, the language, will just be like, nope, shut down, rejected, and you'll get an error. <laughs> but anyway, what I want to talk about now, though, are assignment operators. Assignment operators are those operators or those symbols that you're using to actually define the variable. And we've been using an assignment operator this entire time. We're using equals. We were using number equals four. We're setting, we're assigning the value four to number. Does that make sense? <laughs> so now we can manipulate that, though. We can set things relative to what they already are. Since number equals 4, we can use number plus equals, and we can add to it. We can add, we can use, we're going to use that assignment operator plus equals to add to number, and let's add 2. How about that? So now when we check out number again, it's 6, because we've got 4, and then we add 6 to it. I'm sorry, 4 and add 2 to it, and now we have number, which is 6. Perfect. 
That makes sense, right? Let's try with name. We can do name plus equals uh, Hammond. Name, John Hammond. Awesome. Note the space there. That's what I'm using to differentiate the two names. John is the first name, and we've added Hammond on there with that space, so you can tell that it's two different names. It's actually one name, obviously, but... You, you understand what I'm saying. If you're using subtraction, though, it, that works the same way. You can use number, subtract, equals 3. Number is now 3. You can use number times equals 4. Number now equals 12. You can use number divided equals 2. Number equals what? Number equals 6? There you go. Now, this is interesting, though, but because we're setting it as... It's because the variable is treated as a, a data type. If we use number divided by 2, it's going to take the value of number 6 and then divide that by 2. So you'll get 3, but when we check out number, number is still 6 because we haven't assigned that value to it. We're just, we're just manipulating it. Number, when we have that equal sign there, it's setting it relative to what it is. But when we're just playing with the data, dividing it by 2 without setting it or anything, there it is. Does that make sense to you guys? <laughs> I want to make sure you guys understand this now, because I want to move into something else. Because some people, some programmers, it's this is sort of a style or a technique that some people like to adopt. I myself don't use it too often, but they'll use a naming convention when they declare variables, so they'll have a better understanding of what it really means. Because the whole point of using a variable is that it varies. You never exactly know what the what it might be. And this might, this might seem kind of useless at first, because if you wanted to do, like, uh, number times 2, you already know that number is equal to 6. Why didn't you just do... 6 times 2 in the first place. That's dumb. The thing is, if we had a user input information, like if they're trying to... If they're using this program for a more general sense, if we're trying to build something for them that they can manipulate on their own, they're going to have to be able to put in their own data. So we don't know exactly what they're going to send in, but we still have to be able to process that. And that's all variables do. They allow the programmer access to what the user needs to get done by this sort of, like, fourth wall. I don't, I don't want to say it's the fourth wall, but, yeah, that... <laughs> I, I'm think I'm, I think I'm rambling about this more than I have to. The variables vary for that reason. Because you never know what it might be. And that's why sometimes they use a naming convention. If they know the type that it has to be, if we had an int underscore number, let's say that's 30, int underscore number is 30. But... Now, now that we have that int underscore, we know that it's going to be an integer because we've declared it that way. If, if we're processing it in our in our program, let's say we're just adding things to it, int number plus equals four or something. Do it again. 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 If we did int number plus equals string, that wouldn't make any sense because we as a programmer already know that it's an integer, so we would never do that because we've given ourselves a little notification that, okay, this is an integer variable. We should manipulate it the way you would normally manipulate an integer, not a string. It, it's almost like a little... Oh, it's almost like a seatbelt for the programmer, just so they don't don't they don't do anything stupid because they know, okay, this is the kind of data that I'm working with, I'm going to keep it that way. So... You can do that with string. Obviously, since you're naming the variable, you can name it whatever you want it. You can have it be string Billy Bob Jones. I I don't even care. <laughs> Billy Bob Jones equals uh, fish. And now we know that it's a string variable because we've got that there. Oh, close on a unity. I don't know why I hit that. There you go. String Billy Bob Jones is equal to fish. Good enough. But that's really all I want to show you guys today. I want you to be able to know the terms declaring, defining, value, assignment operators. I want you to have a little bit of an understanding what these assignment operators do, what they can do for your for your variables, for the data that you're manipulating. And yeah, that's that's all. I mean, <laughs> once you get those down, you should be able to have a greater understanding and you should be able to be able to work with things on the fly. You'll be able to just pop out, okay, I need this to equal that and I'm going to have to add things to it relative to what it already is. And you have to have that abstract sort of mindset to be able to manipulate the data that you might have to process later on. So... 
That's all. <laughs> uh, I'm going to bow. I'm going to bow right now. <laughs> I don't know. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. It'd be awesome if you could give me a like. Maybe a, maybe subscribe. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to just going to toss that out there. I'm going to give you an idea here. You can you can take it or leave it. But uh thanks again guys. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.